<laughs> All right, so I, uh, I've had some time to finally play again. As you can see, I was screwing around in practice here, and then I hopped into rank, and here's my first little run, and then a little bit longer and whatnot. I've only played, obviously, a few matches, but I kind of, you know, kicked the tires, got the dirt off, whatever the fancy sayings are. Um, so I've been doing okay, uh, and I want to make more videos, basically, going over just some of the basics, the factions, and correcting things that I said in my other videos or updating them. Uh, the things to know right now are that this is the two-draw beta version of Duelist, so you draw two cards a turn, that massively changes the way you play, and there's no general abilities. Generals don't do anything, they just are aesthetics. Aesthetics. Um... And you also get to replace one card every turn. I don't remember if they nuked that or not. Uh, again, I stopped pretty shortly after they did drop two draw. And right now, in the uh, test, you have three of every single card. No matter the rarity, no matter the level, you just start with everything. So there's a lot of people going around building, you know, very unique decks that I normally didn't see because they require combos based around some you know, mythic cards and running three ofs of them, and it's been kind of interesting. So, um, I wanted to, again, I, you know, bashed out my last few videos very, very quickly, wanted to go over all this stuff again. Um, so very, very briefly, let's talk about the board. Uh, I've been running this spell high list, I'll go into it more in another video. Let's play against good old, actually, am I in Sandbox? Let's go to Sandbox there. I'll play Spell High versus, oh, I don't know, you probably have a bunch of early drops. I just need to show early drop logic. Cool, perfect. Um, yep, okay. So, opening hand, you probably want a two, or if you're going second, a three drop at the bare minimum. Think about how you're going to be contesting the board. Uh, there are Spell Slinger decks, like, you know, Instant Sorcery decks in MTG, or, you know, Control decks and whatnot. But even then, you usually have some creatures, one, because there's creatures like this that are basically better than any spell and work almost as a spell, and two, because these three mono orbs in the middle, which you'll see in a moment, control a lot of important space, so, um, or rather, give you a lot of important tempo, so you can make some really explosive plays, and if you just seed those orbs, then they uh, usually don't do too well. So in this case, I would probably ditch this, especially against the Vissian. This is single target removal. Uh, it's good versus uh, a Mythic Rare they play, but we'll talk about this later, so I would mull that. Of course, I can mull the other two if I want to. Cool, I got another two drop. Uh, probably overkill. As the Abyssian player, a four drop in my opening hand. So in a case like this, where I don't have a turn one play, I would literally mull all three of these. Does not matter what they are. If I don't have a three or a two drop, especially going second, I'm really digging for them. You won't auto-lose if you don't get it, but it's just probably the proper thing. And wow, what a way to get kicked in the teeth. It's a control deck, uh, that one, but I have, I think, a decent mix of two drops. We'll get there. Anyways. So, in a case like this, I would probably open here. Now, Boar is kind of special. They can rush forward and deny this orb. And against the Vissian, I would almost always do that. So, I'd place Boar here, grab this. The standard open, if you don't have a rush creature, is when you go first to put the creature here or here so that they can't easily contest it, and so that you're in range to get the orb next turn. Because if you place it here, your creature can't go up and get either of these orbs. If you place it here, it can go down and get an orb, or it can go up and get an orb. Um, so, assuming proper play, I would do this. But assuming more general play for right now, I'm going to do this. Um, and I always like to heal the opponent here, and then you send them a nice little kiss. Uh, Oops, um, messing around. Uh, I would definitely mull this guy. I would have done that beforehand, because uh, right now we're in the early game. I don't have the kind of things that combo with him, and this is one of the most important things to think about. Do not think, oh, well, this will be good in, like, three turns. Three turns is an eternity in this game. You will be cycling at least three cards almost every turn. Don't wait to draw into what makes this guy good. Is he good right now? No, get the hell out of my hand. Oh, wow, that is a vast improvement. I can now remove something they have rather than maybe set this guy up and get nothing. Let's see if I would have drawn into anything half decent for him. Nope, he would have been terrible. So, this is a trash hand. Um, I could do that as a janky as hell thing, but uh, no. Ah, perfect. This is exactly why you'll see what I wanted to show you, which is if I had a two drop as well, a very common Abyssian turn one play is to do this. Here we go. Boop. 
and then we go boop, and then we go boop. You want to take the one that they were setting up for. Now I've got two mana. I can play a two drop, uh, two mana. I'm not going to because I obviously can't, but again, I thought I'd show that off. This is fairly standard opening affair. Um, no one can attack yet. Uh, I've already done my replace. Cool, I'm good in my turn. All right, once again, does this guy do anything right frickin' now? No, he's probably the worst card in my hand, but looking at this, this requires more work. It's easier for this to get removed if I don't have the setup for it, so this guy goes. And you usually want to replace first. There's occasions where you won't, but generally replace before you do anything else. Okay, so that's actually a good combo card with him and the card I just ditched, but that's fine because I've got something like this. Uh, I'm not going to play out a full game because I really don't want to. I just want to kind of show this whole always be pitching cards. So I guess I'll do like one more turn. So again, let's see, I can go up to four mana this turn. So I would probably versus an Abyssian. At this point, I don't know it's a control matchup. Uh, letting Abyssian have a bunch of creatures on the board is just really often quite dangerous. So we'll go up here. I actually could have done this better so that I should have... I, things could have been done better. I am talking and playing and just trying to show off more generic things than specific strategies. So um, I would not waste a Phoenix Fire to kill this. Generally, you're going to want to play out your mana, and generally you're going to want to make sure you have two cards empty at the end of your turn. Still, there are going to be occasions where you don't play all your mana because it's just better. Like, I know I have this guy coming. I know these are really good with him, so I'm just going to keep those in my hand because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the value. And okay. So on her turn, she's got Jank. You generally want to kill this pig. You're going to see a lot of this pig. I'll talk about it in my Songhai video. Uh, so we'll, again, we're playing a control build. Probably just want to keep the board clear, especially against Song High, because they can just buff their guys to the moon. Unfortunately, she's kind of in a bad spot here where, okay, we kill the pig, take three, we um, do this. And then there's no point sitting on this lore. Like, you could get more value out of it, but again, you want to get the junk out of your hand. So let's junk this. Um, you'll notice I did not do what I said and replace anything. This is probably not very good versus Songhai, so I would ditch it. Um, oh, what well, do you know, I get a one drop, that probably would have changed my math. So I'm going to put it probably up here. There's a whole slew of strategy about which of these three spaces you do when you're trying to defend. Uh, I would just do here. Now my hand's nice and open. I in turn, draw cards. Uh, and then finally the turn I was going to show off. This is the least useful card here. Again, I at this point might know their control, so I might save this to kill the seven drop I know she has, uh, just because I'm playing as her. This is a very good card, but I'm going to ditch it because it doesn't do anything right now. Okay, so I would honestly probably back up. Well, I might have gone up and cleared him. I, yeah, I probably should have gone up and clear him because I know they have lore and stuff that can make this easier for them. So I would then play him, and then that's going to be my turn, and I have a super explosive next turn. So she, however, yeah, I don't even get to have my super. Oh, no, yep, yep. I, I, I see this as her. I go, hmm, what's going on here? This is obviously not good. I have a couple of options to stop it. Uh, I am almost certainly going to go something like this. So I go up to, up to, I could lure him over and then attack with both, or I can sack this. Again, this is why you really want to keep these clear. Rush this dude out, walk over, smack him in the face, value, um, four damage there, and, you know, a 6-2 on the board. And now... I, yeah, this is this is now probably way in her favor. Uh, personally, here, now my hand is kind of junk because I don't have the combo piece that makes all this work. So this is where you have to be scary. Although that certainly helps with that five mana. I would almost certainly eat the damage here because I've got a heal in my hand anyways. Uh, that was maybe wrong. But you get the idea. I could play this out more, but I just wanted to show some basics of like, hey, Use your replace, try to use your resources. So, you know, this turn I know this will draw for itself. I'm probably playing this guy. So something like, okay, let's dump my hand pig. 
pig goes out, smacks in the face. Um, I probably wanted to saber spine before that because I'm an idiot. Uh, I will do this, which puts this to one. I will then do that. And then because I don't want to die, I will put this here and heal myself. Uh, I'm not going to heal the pig because I don't need the card as badly. And now she's in a great spot because she can kill the pig and do quite a bit here. So kill the pig for free. Go ahead and just start healing up. So this is how the uh, this is how you generally beat Songhai, by the way. Like since they live to burn, like I am gonna heal so much this game. Uh, another four coming, so on, so forth, so on, so forth. I would, pro I probably should have replaced this for everything. Like you've seen how long this has sit in my hand. This is a perfect example of what I just said not to do. Um, do not keep junk like this in your hand until you need it. Like I should have replaced this. This could have been, you know, something else. This might have been worse. Yeah, that's like two or three replaces that I might have given up. So, um, I'm gonna get out of this game. I'm going to see if there's anything else I quickly want to discuss in this video, because I'm about to make a faction video for each faction to kind of go into specifics. I think that's the majority of it. Keep an eye on what you're doing. Be really aggressive with how do I make the hand in my hand work. It's not like Magic or Hearthstone or Etheria even or anything else I've played where you're like, well, you know, I'll keep this in my hand and it's going to be good in two or three turns, um, and oh, I've got this combo coming. You were pretty much, it's almost like a five-card draw, um, or a five-card stud if you've ever played poker, um, where here's five cards, make the best hand you can out of them. That's what you're often doing in Duelist, is you're making the best hand you can out of your current hand. So don't be thinking too far in advance. Don't think, oh, well, this will be really good on turn six, so I better not get rid of it. No. Ship that. Replace it. Don't keep it. Even if it's like, well, it might be good next turn. Might is not certain. You've got to really be aware of what you could get. This is what you've got. And just aggressively replace those cards. Because if you think about it, you're drawing more cards if you do that. You're turning dead draws into live draws, and so if you're not replacing, and your opponent is, they have a higher chance of seeing their X. So I'll keep this one short. This is a much better basics now that I'm kind of more up to speed on how to play the game again. Um, I will be making faction videos shortly. I hope you enjoy this.